It has been few months that the world is trying to cope with coronavirus infection, COVID-19, the spread of which originated in China's city Wuhan at the end of 2019. Yet, the coronavirus is not the first widespread disease that the world has faced. So history you know many of the worst epidemic disease than COVID-19 have erupted in several eras, becoming now under different names such as the Black Death, Pox or Spanish Flu, which had no less destructive effects than any severe armed conflict causing huge number of deaths and suffering. Well, in our modern life where medicine has progressed so significantly, there are still some diseases which unfortunately are incurable yet. So, what do you think? We are supposed to stop coronavirus. When will a vaccine be ready? How to effectively heal the people suffering from a typical pneumonia catalyzed by SARS-CoV-2? This question are the matter of actual time today for all science all over the world. You know what? I have been thinking about this a while and I know the answer. The world is going to be saved. So, a member of the Youth Academy under the Minister of Innovation, a student at Turing Tashkent University, has invented a new model of the reticulator, raising energy, conversion efficiency and reducing the cost. What is that and how does it work? On the one side it pulls in air that passes through ultraviolet rays which actually kill viruses and germs. So on the other side the device pulls out filtered purified air. What a great thing! I'm kinda really excited cause it's my brother who invented this gear. In fact, it's proven by Thai scientists that there is certain radiation does for each of the virus groups. It turned out that the virus becomes fully deactivated by being exposed to sufficient radiation dust. What is more interesting, the sensorist one to ultraviolet rays were single-stranded RNA viruses and namely the coronavirus which is drifting through the air to nearly every continent is a single-stranded RNA virus. The device can surely be used in a public place because it does not release azon and ultraviolet rays can't directly hit on a person. Stop! Now I'd want you to be attentive to details. Fine, let's just say that we got purified indoor air, so all that remains is to take these next five steps to stay healthy at this difficult time. Number one, proper diet. A proper nutrition is one of the main factors of existence normal functioning of human organism. It's power and health. The working capacity and longevity depend on the way you eat. Number two, physical activity. This is any muscle activity that allows you to maintain good physical shape, improve well-being, ensure a burst of energy during an additional stimulus to life. Number three, healthy sleep. During sleep, all cells are stored, that's why it's one of the vital aspects of healthy lifestyle. Number four, no stress. Yes, we should try to find the optimistic viewpoint even in a negative situation. Only then life becomes so much better. Number five, follow the words of the great healer Ibn Sina. Panic is a half sickness. Calmness is a cure and patience is the first step of healing. There are no incurable disease, only the lack of feel. Be stronger and you will be certainly be healthy.